what's going on guys so it is here the ps5 uh just picked it up like an hour ago from target it was actually like 1 45 a.m last night at eastern time that target released some stock for in-store pickup for today and i actually got one just barely it took me like 15 minutes to check out but it's here just picked it up pretty giant box as we expected but yeah let's go ahead and unbox this thing take a look inside and i'm also at the end of this video going to do kind of the setup of the ps5 just so we can you know see the initial setup so here it is ps5 as you can see, you've got your cool looking console here, got your controller, PS5, PlayStation 5, um, it's 8K, 4K, 120 FPS, HDR, you know the drill on top, just to grab your little handle, which is nice when you're carrying it out of the store. On the sides, not much to see, just the, uh, the vertical console and the controller, and then on the back, gives you a little bit more details, lightning speed. They got an SSD in it, uh, breathtaking immersion, and stunning games. And yeah, uh, just kind of giving some, some advertisements about what they got. It's actually only 825 gigabytes, whereas the Xbox Series X is one terabyte, I believe. Um, so that's one thing to note. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing now. All right, so I got my handy dandy knife. This box actually is pretty reminiscent of the PS4 box. Just has one slice up top. Pull it out, and it looks like it just, the whole, the white box slides out of the outer cover. So yeah, once you take off the outer cover, you have this just this internal white box. And it's got a little opening right here. Let's see. I haven't watched any unboxing videos of the PS5, so I'm not familiar how, how this works. So it looks like we lay it on its side and pull it out. Let's try that. So I'll go ahead and open it up this way and lay it on its side and I'll try to pull it out. So actually maybe not. I just kind of opened up this top portion and it has a few of the accessories. So you have your power cord. Looks like a standard power cord. Got your controller, which we'll take a look at in a minute. We have our quick start guide, our safety guide, and I would assume, what is this? Oh, this is the vertical stand. Vertical slash horizontal stand. I think you can use it either way. And then of course your HDMI cable. And so now, the, now is the part I think where I take this out and now I can actually slide the uh, console out. So let me go ahead and turn it on, on its side so I don't you know break this thing because it is a massive console all right guys so i slid it out and here is the actual console so let's try to get it out of this little packaging here without messing anything up like usual it's got it got it in a plastic wrap and let's see what is the best way to take this out that's interesting usually they have like a little bit of tape that holds it down or something but it looks like the this plastic wrap is just stuffed in there Guess not a big deal as long as the console is in good condition. Don't really care. But it's wrapped around a few times. All right, any day now. Ooh, that thing is slick. All right, guys, so here it is. This thing is a slick console, and it's actually got like a brand new console um, smell to it, which is interesting. I don't know if I've ever had a brand new console smell to it. Uh, it's just kind of like a plastic smell. And let's just kind of take a look at it, I guess. Uh, so down here on the front, you got your disk drive, power button, eject button. You got a, I guess you got a USB-C port and a just regular USB port. And over on the side, you kind of got this cool, I don't know how to describe it. You got your, you know, your fat end on this side with the little lip sticking out. Um, you got your vents around the edges. It's a nice glossy finish here. And you know, I really like gloss. It's, it looks nice, but it's gonna get scratched up real quick, which is the only issue with it. And then here on the back, we got a bunch of area for venting, uh, two USB ports, a uh, Ethernet port, HDMI, and power. So pretty straightforward. Then on the other side, I guess we got some more vents, and probably this probably has something to do with opening up the console, which I don't plan to do anytime soon. And yeah, here's the, I guess the top-down view as well. From this view, it just looks like a rectangle. But this is a pretty slick console. It's, you know, looking at it on camera it doesn't really do it justice. This thing looks nice. It's just, the only issue is it's huge. Like, this is a massive console, it's pretty heavy too. So there you go guys, that's the unboxing. Let's go ahead and put this um, next to my TV and we can go ahead and turn this thing on and kind of get a better look at it. All right guys, so here it is in all its glory. Uh, I forgot to actually show you the controller here when I was doing the unboxing, but here it is. A pretty slick controller. I actually did an unboxing of the controller. I'll link in the description if you want to check it out. And here's the console. Um, it took me a minute to figure out how to put the vertical stand on. But yeah, this thing in the vertical stance, this thing is massive. Um, I'm gonna leave it in the vertical stance for this video, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna like put it in the horizontal stance just for uh, when I'm actually playing, because I'm worried that 
I'm gonna like knock this thing over even though it seems pretty stable but yeah this thing is just it's a huge console and as you saw it's all gloss which looks super nice but I am worried that it's gonna get a lot of fingerprints and scratches and stuff but I'll just try not to touch it uh, but yeah we got it all plugged in and everything uh, pretty straightforward just plugged in our HDMI and power cable and got our controller so let's go ahead and try to boot this thing up so it sounds exactly like the uh, the PS4 boot up sound and it's also blue and here we go we got something happening on the screen okay that was a pretty neat boot up I don't know if my volume was loud enough for you to really hear it but it was a pretty pretty slick boot up and now it wants me to connect it to the console and I'm did this thing come with a charging cable I'm pretty sure it did not because it looks like I'm gonna have to connect the charging cable for it to actually recognize the controller uh, so let me go and look and make sure it didn't actually come with a cable let me check all right it did come with a charging cable I just missed it in the box and now for some reason the console is talking to me in different languages I'm not sure why um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try to connect this cable now. Alright, so we got the cable plugged in to the controller. Should be able to press the middle button now and it should do something. Yep. Alright, select our language. Please turn the screen reader off. <laughs> that is extremely annoying. I know it's useful for some people, but I don't need it. Alright, so it wants me to set up internet connection. Let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so now it's trying to connect to my internet. Alright, so it's connected now and we got to adjust our display area to fit this screen. So I just go max, press OK, adjust HDR, all right. All right, so we're supposed to adjust the bite brightness until that symbol is barely visible. So right there, it's probably good. Adjust until it's barely visible. And just like, by the way, I'm not too worried about this because this is not actually a TV I use for my everyday gaming. I have an LG OLED uh, 4K TV in my living room that I that I actually use for everyday um, gaming. All right, so insert a disc. I don't have a disc right now. All right, so we have power options for rest mode. We can do an optimized experience, which means it applies the latest updates, turns on remotely when you connect, and charges controllers. You can do low power where it um, is almost all the way off, doesn't apply updates, and doesn't charge controllers, or you can do custom. Let's just go optimized, because why not? Uh, yeah, of course, I'm probably not going to agree, or I'm probably not going to read that, just like nobody ever reads those things. So now we got to update the system software. Let's go ahead and do that. And update. And yeah, this shouldn't take too long. I'll come back in a minute once it's done. All right, guys, so we booted back up, and I don't want to hate on the Xbox, but I'm not going to lie. This this PS5 update went a whole lot quicker than, when, than the day one update I had doing the Series X, especially since the Series X Xbox Live was down. <laughs> when I tried to boot it up the first time uh, but yeah gotta update the, the controller software now I mean this yeah my my the total update from downloading to installing to applying the update was like five minutes max um, whereas in the Series X it was like 20 to 30 minutes and actually even longer than that since Xbox Live was down but again I'm not hating on the Xbox I like both consoles I have both consoles um, just kinda some commentary while we're waiting and restarting our controller and here we are. We can sign in. I'm not going to sign in right now just because we don't don't need to. And let's go ahead and just take a look at this home screen. I'm just going to I'm just going to do a random user user one right now. Good enough. I really like this this uh home screen, this background. It's kind of it's, it's like I don't know how to describe it. Some ambient light, but it's it's nice, simple, kind of sparkly in the background. All right, I just I moved my light a little bit so you could actually see the corner of the screen. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. It looks pretty similar to the PS4 um, home screen. I'll be honest, guys, I, I might sound like a noob right now, but that's because I have not really watched any of the videos of the PlayStation GUI because I kind of just wanted to experience for, for myself instead of watching other people. But of course, you guys are watching me do it, so um, yeah, pick your poison. Uh, so yeah, it's got your games. Kind of scroll through like on the PS4. You got your media over here. You can scroll through. And I'm assuming they'll show some more options if I was actually signed in. But it's a nice smooth GUI, um, no issues so far. You can search, settings, got your user. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. 
Um, but yeah, the settings over here look pretty much, the menu, menu looks pretty similar to the PS4 on the settings. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty slick looking console. I bought uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales to play on day one. I also heard Astro's Playroom is really fun and it's free. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited to, to actually sign in and start playing some games. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys can get a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, whatever you prefer. Definitely let me know down in the comments which console you got or if you got a console at all. And let me know what you think. Um, I'm excited to play this thing and make some more videos about it. So make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.